So, it is August 18th. I already got up, dressed, waiting on road to get here. Gonna go to Prayer and Vision for a little bit. Got some shirts to press up, a big chunk of them. And then, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much it. Probably hook, hang out with a friend later. I'm lying. Comma posse from 6 to 9. Since I'm going to help them with their media stuff. Um, I'm going to go tonight to learn a few things about this camera they want me to use. And then, yeah, get ready for tomorrow. So, just sitting here waiting on row. I feel like I got a good sleep. Sometimes I don't even know. Sometimes I feel like I sleep too much. This past year I rested a lot. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, I'm excited to get back into my routine. I'm excited to get back into chasing something. I feel like that's when I'm most alive. You know, waking up 6 a.m., going to bed at midnight because you're just so anxious and excited about what you're doing. The only time I've ever felt like that was when I was self-employed and I had my own business. I was getting up every day, five to six, and going to bed about midnight and not really tired. I was incredibly energized. It was really fun. I want to get back to that. So I'm sure you'll notice on here when they Hey, so I walk out and I look at Rose. Look at what we got on. Look at my shirt. Yes. I swear, man, I don't know what the we fuck. We didn't text each other. Nothing. I promise. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to get started on those red shirts. It's either 30 or 40. Just fold in these shirts right here. I like to use this deal because then it's duplicatable. If I fold the shirts or somebody else fold the shirts, they could be folded a certain way. And then if somebody else comes in and can't duplicate that, then it could disrupt the energy and the flow and but if you have something like this then each fold is going to be the same no matter who uses it and in business I feel like that's very important so really like using that thing is 90% uh, of the time um, got to fold these then we'll get those shirts going it's going to be a good day It looks good, but I'm not sure compared to the picture. Looks like it. Let's hope I didn't miss it. There's a lot going on. I actually think this is very similar to publishing. Remember like eight, nine years ago, everyone was like, if I'm a newspaper journalist, I'm dead? Yeah. You're not dead, you're just gonna work at different places. Right. So I think, I think you can fit anywhere. I think the bigger thing that I can help you with is not necessarily anything other than four to five to seven people to meet yeah. that can give you the speeding up. I mean, I think the one thing you'll have to kind of wrap your head around is I don't know how fluffy or comfortable 
the budgets of the traditional TV world were, yeah. or are, or the people you work with. I think that's really the overhead that it takes to do it, and then you go into the new world, and then the new world becomes the old world. Right. You know, cable, when it was first produced, was, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. Let me give you a really good piece of advice. If you are not on Snapchat, you should get away. And you should, you're not on it. I'm not on it. Good. Let me show you something that I want you to, that's very important to the, tw- to the 15 year part of your career. Okay. Maybe not tomorrow, but definitely in 36 months, this world is very real. Which is, you're not gonna understand this statue, it's the hardest to understand. Know, it's hard. But you're gonna have to, but you're gonna Google, you're gonna right. Google, how do I use Snapchat? Yeah. You're gonna download it, yeah. and in a day you'll get it. Yeah. There's a part called, where they call discovery, where their media is done. Yeah. In here, you have to see how the czar is producing. Like, you have to see what's happening both in video and audio form because this is where the world's going. Like, yeah. you have to understand this. If you don't, you're basically making radio content right. for right. the television. Right. So, um, I've been listening to audios and leadership stuff like that for that 12 true? years. And I paid a lot of money in a sense to do that. Now with podcasting, you get a lot of stuff for free. But one of the main guys that I listen to right now, pretty much religiously, there's only two guys that I listen to 99% of the time. It is this guy in the background, Gary Vaynerchuk, that I just, you just saw or heard a clip of and saw me watching. And a pastor out of Africa, Ghana, Africa, Dr. Mensah uh, Oldabal, Oldabil. So they definitely place a new perspective especially out here in West Texas for me and I really like it just like Simon Sinek um, Mr. Sir Ken Robinson that came and spoke at Educate Midland that is the mindset that I have and I have always had and I really enjoy listening to people that expands Um, there's so much for me to learn so much for me to know and I can't learn and get to know those things if I don't listen to smarter people and people that are way further um, in the journey that I am. So I never try to be the answer man. I just always try to point people to who I'm listening to and stuff like that. So I am home now. I just met with my nephew. If you had been following this vlog for the last 15 days, I had to write a letter for my nephew. He's been asking me for a year and I just now finished it. Or just now did it, I mean. And so he just came to pick that up. I'm so glad that I got that out the way. I'm so glad that he kept calling and asking for it. Um, Otherwise, I don't think I would have done it, just truthfully. So I am gonna go ahead to Kamaposi, and I think they have some type of event going on, but there's a camera they want me to use to take pictures and grab video for their website. So I'm going to go learn this camera and see how good I can get um, at it. I know it's only over time and running through it is where I'm going to get good at it. So that's basically all I'm going to do is just act like I know how to take pictures, take pictures and try to get better at it. So, and Scott sounds pretty well informed and pretty well um, experienced in um, cameras, whatever the proper term is. And so um, he's gonna teach me as well along the way, I'm sure. So excited about that. I'm really excited about being able to post pictures on their website and blog a little bit, cause I like to write. All right, so headed up to Kamaposi, and Scott has got a pretty dope camera that he's gonna let me use while the events are going on at Kamaposi. There at Kamaposi. So. I was a little nervous taking it with me right now. I'll just be honest with you. So, that's, um, I'm, I feel like a little kid like, with candy that I shouldn't have. <laughs> that's what it feels like. <laughs> no, that's funny. But uh, that's exactly how I feel. So, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be up there for a few hours getting to learn this camera. Um, and again, I feel like I should have learned this already because I dealt with the camera at my um, at my last uh, place of employment, and 
I didn't learn about it. I just kind of took it real lightly. And that's what I'm having to learn right now in life is whatever's in front of me, like, you know, master it, like take it serious. Um, I, I don't know why I haven't always done that. So at the same time that I'm excited that I get to run this camera for Common Posse and, and the other stuff, um, I also have a little regret because I feel like I should have learned what I'm trying to learn right now about cameras and things like that. I had a huge opportunity to learn about cameras um, and all the proper terms and why this and why that uh, and I should have been prepared for this. So my mentor would always tell me that success is when opportunity and preparedness meet and a lot of times I feel like I've missed out on success because the opportunity came but I wasn't prepared for it. And I believe where I have failed to prepare is taking serious what is in front of me. And by that I mean if I'm like right now, if I am filming and editing and that is what's going on in my life, then take that really serious and get to know everything about the camera, get to know everything about the mic stand, get to know everything about, you know, um, how to run an open mic and the, you know successful open mics and how to film and how to take this type of picture and you know like why not engulf you know myself and I feel like that's where I failed to prepare so that was a long wind to talk even for me so yes headed to Kamapazi and they are open actually every Friday so if you missed the art the official opening on first Friday you can still check out the art um, all the other Fridays and they open around 6 to 9 so all right got here to Kamikaze with my trusted trusted camera Let's see what I can make happen with this I don't think Casey's here yet so I'm gonna sit on the steps and wait so the camera almost fell on me. I pulled it out of the bag and this little strap was like all the way off right here like that. <laughs> it slipped out. It almost fell. See? I'm a little nervous. The battery is discharged on the camera, so I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit. Then I'm gonna start getting to work with this camera and get familiar with it. So, Kamapazi Gym is opened each Friday from six to nine. If you're not here for the first Friday show to see the art. So that's a pretty cool thing to do, allow that. 